3 minus x times x minus 4 in brackets is greater than 0. Well, again, this is a quadratic, so let's just mark off the roots then and do a little sketch so we can see what's what. Um, the x squared term here it comes from the product of this, these two terms in the expansion of the pair brackets, and that's a minus x squared, so it's an n-shaped curve, like so, because it's minus x squared is the dominant term. The roots are at 4, and the other root is at 3, and it's an n-shaped curve, so it comes up, comes over, and then goes down. So there's our little sketch, there's the x-axis, there's the y, and there's 0. Now, when does this, when is this curve greater than 0? It's greater than 0 in this segment here, between 3 and 4. So here we see that from the sketch that x must lie, it can go up to 4, can't it? Because this is greater than 0, it cannot touch 4, so it must be less than 4, and it can go down to, but not touch, 3. So x lies between 3 and 4.